And we're back. <laughs> Happy Wednesday night workshop again. So I think everyone by now is used to me restarting and then restarting and then restarting <laughs> and restarting and restarting. It's Wednesday night, which is exciting because we get to hang out with you guys and you guys get to hang out with us and we all get to paint. So we're going to be doing some dotting tonight. Let me grab Miss Katie. And uh, it's going to be a pretty simple one. Uh, um, like beginner style. We're going to use tattoo and dotting and top dots. And this is based on a tutorial I did. One of my very first ones. <laughs> before I knew how to use live or how to YouTube or so all my uh, tutorials back then were kind of broken up <laughs> so if you guys got to see that thank you for bearing with me <laughs> hey Miss Katie got comments no nope. oh so I guess we'll just have to go with it okay sad face sad face no I don't have them either so and it's not showing me the new life <laughs> on my computer so I have to wait just a moment not, so I can find it it's not even showing me how many people are on now I'm showing 24 I, something's laggy about Facebook though tonight because I'm it took me forever to get the sad life face. to show up sad face sad face sad face I'm sorry <laughs> It's okay. I just hate not being able to see what people are saying. It's like well, I can't answer any questions. I can't. We can't have our laughs. I Yeah, I know. Okay, guys. Well, we're here. I'm limited comments because I can't see them that well. They're tiny, but um, I will do my very best to check in every once in a while. Ah, so who's with us tonight? We got Phyllis, Lyra, Katie Bachmeyer, Allison, and Allison. Nice. Jane, Jamie, Jan, thank you guys, everyone, for coming back in. We have 28 people. D, Holly, Heather, Teresa. Okay. So. Ew, you don't want to look at my ugly water <laughs> container. <laughs> I did clean mine this time. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> but my container's nasty looking, you know. Well, but, yeah, I mean, that is, it's stained. Mine's stained up. Like, yeah. I scrub it, but. Whose water cup isn't gross? <laughs> and if it isn't, then you're way, way babe. too OCD for me. <laughs> I don't have a comment tonight, so. Mm. I'm trying Kathy's to Kathy's buffering, so we'll just all buffer tonight. How's that? <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to get my laptop up and going and I'm hoping that will work at least I had mine ready tonight but it just didn't want to you know everything is so what would that be delayed I guess from live to actual and I think that's so if we mess up Facebook can shut us down <laughs> before you see it I'm pretty sure that's how live works, but okay, so we have some tattoos and some rocks and some dotting tools and some paint, right? Okay, dotting tools don't, you don't have to have dotting tools to dot. You can use whatever is at your disposal, literally, your finger, if you want big dots, you can use the ends of Q-tips, swabs, toothpicks. This is a Dollar Tree weeding tool with a tiny pinpoint needle tip. I haven't been able to get that to work as a dotting tool, but I've been trying. Oh, well, if those are too sharp, because sometimes they're too sharp and they don't drop the paint, um, you can also use, if you picked up the um no i can't even find mine holy moly you know the tool my favorite tool that is now in the shop uh, the rhinestone picker 
You can use your oh. rhinestone picker, the end of that. Let me look at um, that. These are heavy weighted dotting tools. They're really big and they're heavy, heavy balls on these. And then these are a regular set of dotting tools and they have different size ends. You know what I found about uh, dotting tools, regular ones, is one end of them has different size dotters. And then the other end, they're all the same. So I never really have figured it out how they do that or what's up. Anyways, those come in wood or plastic uh, acrylic handles. And then the dotting rods. And those are just acrylic cylinders and different sizes. I put the tape on myself. At one point, I was trying to be disciplined about <laughs> my dots, but I quickly gave that up because I am no daughter. <laughs> <laughs> and when you're not, you're not, and you just know it. But it's still fun to dot sometimes. So that's the dotting tools. I'm not a big fan of the big balls, just saying. <laughs> well, ACDC likes them, so. <laughs> <laughs> They're just so awkward and weird to use, so. They are. They're heavy, like they just they kind of drag down your hand you know if you were doing a huge project i kind of feel like they would be very exhausting but i see some people using them and yeah. it looks good it's just i never had good luck with it and it to me it wasted a lot of paint because a lot of paint gets on the ball yeah it stays up around here it right up. yeah yeah yep gerbil dumbbells yeah <laughs> jam that's too cute <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, let's see what we got for comments. So, did you get your computer up? I'm working on it. I'm sorry. Okay. No, no worries. I just didn't know if I needed to go scroll back. So everybody's just cracking up about you know you not liking big balls. So. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. So tattoos are so much fun. Oh my gosh. Seriously, you guys, there uh, the sky is the limit. There are a bunch of different kinds of tattoos, and kids' tattoos can be really fun for this too. Um, the very first one I did was at Phoenix, which is in the picture, and then I went and did. I think the tutorial is a hummingbird or something like that. But anyways, it's been a couple of years, but I think I still have the pack that they were from. Like, there's a phoenix. Isn't that pretty? Oh, yeah. That's beautiful. And here's a fire phoenix. So you really, really, I mean, a feather. Look at it. It's already kind of started with the dots. Mermaids. Katie. Fairies. Are you doing a fairy? See, I don't have all those cool tattoos that you have. So this is what I'm using. I'm doing a uh, pinup girl. Yeah. I'm doing a those couple are... of those, and then I'm going to do a little Luna for a, maybe a kid one, and then I'm going to do a flower with a butterfly. Oh, wow. Katie's, like, doing it up. Okay. So, definitely, you've got tribal. But I have all those cool ones. Floral, lots of flowers, animals. Tattoos come in all things. All you got to do is do a search on, you know, wherever and pretty soon in wanda shop like soon hopefully any day now um they'll be we'll have our own tattoos there we just had today seven orders turned back <laughs> katie you don't even know about that yet <laughs> oh my gosh what is that? They, they were practically at my door, like they said, out for delivery all day long, from our from our um, manufacturer. Seven orders wrapped in one, stuck in customs forever, was out for delivery and got turned back because of insufficient address information. And when that oh, happens, man. you don't get the chance to claim it at the post office. You just they just send it back. So now it has to go all the way back to China, and I'm just beside myself <laughs> but what a bummer you know, yeah life is like that some days i think i'm going to do mr unicorn on one maybe and i love this kitty cat isn't that pretty 
I had put two tattoos in the shop and they sold in like 2.5 seconds. <laughs> I ought to put some of mine in there until ours come because now I they're... like that cat. That's cute. <laughs> I love it. Maybe I'll do the key cat. I just, you want to have enough room around your tattoo so you can do the dots, you know? Yeah. So I'm, I, think... I probably won't have much, much dots because of what I picked, but um, I'll Maybe have I'll some. Do this dragon. Maybe I'll do this dragon. It's weird because I want to do black dots with red top dots, but I can't find a red that I want to use. <laughs> You need to find, if you're going to do, when you do top dots, if black is your undercolor, you have to find something extremely opaque or thick. Like, right. these are not extremely opaque, but they're very, very thick, so they make really good dots and top dots. But most paint, matte paint especially, most paints are thin, so they don't, they go transparent when they dry. So it's just, you know, what do you want? You can always do a white dot and then your color on top of the dot, you know. It's kind of a lot of dots, but the layering would be a black dot, let that dry. A white dot, the size you want your color dot to be, and then your color dot on, on top of the white dot to cover it. And that's how you'll get that vibrant top dot. Too much information for my brain today. Hi, Nancy. <laughs> So, what do you think? Um, okay, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do kitty cat on here. And, okay, guys, do you want black? That's a lot of black and red, huh? Do you want unicorn or drag this dragon? Stickers are awesome, too. They're talking about using stickers. Hey, <laughs> I got a black kitty boat. I would use a good quality sticker, though, I think. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Um, I can't decide, Wanda. My computer is frozen. The dragon, maybe. <laughs> okay. Yep, I got lots of dragons. Okay. So, dragon and kitty cat. All right, I'm going to move the other tattoos out of my workspace so that I don't ruin them. Because, you know, they like water. So. I know I haven't really done tattoos much on my rocks before, so I'll need you to lead if you don't mind on this part. I don't mind. Not at all. I'm... So there is a film on your tattoo. They come with this film. Leave that on until it's time to transfer it, because if you take it off while you're working with it, there's chances you could... It's sticky, so you'll put your finger in it and pull it off the uh, transfer okay. paper. So you want to not fussy cut, but cut as close as you can. Um, because the less paper you have to work with, the easier these slide off. Okay. So I just really try to get rid of any bulk, you know. And this most of the times is also tattooy so get that off if you don't want numbers or thing weird things on your rock all right that's one and i thought this would be a good time to use some of my blemish santorinis because if we're going to be doing dots we're just going to cover up most yeah. of the the ugly because this one's kind of gray. This one has yeah. a brown schmear. Yep. This has yep, I got out my gray one. <laughs> now, when you're picking out a rock for your tattoos, you're always tempted to pick it out for the side you're looking at. But remember, they go this way. So if you need to visualize, you can get your light at behind it and then look at what it would look like on your rock with a little bit of light behind it. I'm trying to get a little bit of light here. Let's see if I can bring it up. No. <laughs> Just no. <laughs> uh, yeah. Anyways. You what can, are we uh, doing now? You're just trying to see through your paper. Sometimes you can see through your tattoo to see what it will look like on your rock. Okay. Because we're going to you know, be going down this way. Correct. 
Okay. Yeah, so you just want to make sure it will fit on your rock that the right way. Okay. Okay, so I'm doing mine. Actually, I think I'm going to go this way. Like that. Now, um, do you have any Mod Podge, Katie? No. Yes. Or, or uh, whatever you want to use like that. Oh, we don't use water? Yes, we use water. Um, Liquitex Matte Medium works great. This is just an added thing to do if you're working with tattoos on rocks because sometimes they tear and, you know, they're icky. So what let you're going to want to do. Let me locate my mediums. Or Mod Podge or even Elmer's Glue. All of, you know, anything that's like a, a that you can use to decoupage with works. Okay, I'm set. Okay. Get your old brush, get it wet, and you don't need a lot, just, oh my gosh, mine's glued shut. <laughs> oh, there we go. Just a little bit. So we put the medium on the rock? Yeah, but I mean just a little tiny bit and watered down, you know, with your brush being wet. And then you take the film off of your tattoo. You can use just plain water, but I really like the step. It just kind of helps, you know, no bubbles under there. Okay, film off. Or film off. Rinse your brush out very, very good. And then wet the back of your tattoo. Put your tattoo on your rock, then wet it, Katie. <laughs> Sorry. And be generous with the water. Well, I'm glad I pulled four out just in case I mess one up. <laughs> I know I'm looking down there going, do I have enough rocks to do another if this doesn't go right? So you got to give it some time to do its thing. While that one's working, I'm going to go ahead and do this one. That was too much. Really, you just need a baby drop. So I'm going to take some of that off. Okay. Hi, Kathy. Dan, Phyllis. You got comments? On computer. Yay. Cool beans. If I missed, I'm sorry if you said that, I missed it. No, I didn't. Uh, I just got, got going with it and. <laughs> Jan, uh, I'm not dainty. I just find that this, a brush, you get more water on there faster. I'm lazy. Dainty is not the right word. <laughs> a brush, get, get her done you know <laughs> all right let's check this guy so you want to see how there when you twist it just a tiny tad how it moves off on rocks it's different than on your skin Oops, that's not the right a one. lot of times on the skin they tell you just pull back and peel it off but on rocks it likes to come back up so i like to kind of twist and i'm talking move slow and if you see that your tattoo is moving with it, you need to add more water because it creates like a suction. So sometimes it'll pull little details of your tattoo with it. Some people do just pull, peel them right back, but I have found when I run into trouble, it's because I did that. And I can see some bubbles underneath there. Don't panic about those. A lot of times they're because your rock is bumpy or has a, you know, bubble, bump, a uh, crevice or whatever. Anyways, you can take your brush very, very gently and move it out. 
Your and tattoo I'm will forgetting move. to look at comments. Oh, wait. My computer's over on my left side, and I keep forgetting to look at comments. <laughs> Thanks, Jennifer, for catching the questions. Oops. What did I miss? I'm sorry. Uh. Um. Oh, yeah. If, if you mess up, you can literally rub it off while it's wet. It just comes right off. But chances are you can fix it. And then um, I have removed them with alcohol with sandpaper if they're dry and I just can't live with it. I mean, they do come off. It's kind of a challenge. But you can save your rock if you wanted to use it for another project, you know. And you can paint over tattoos. You can ink over them. They're not great for watercolors on top of them. If you get one that has space in between the details, like in between these is just rock. But watercolors kind of, because this is kind of plastic, so, you know, they just kind of puddle on top of. But my gouaches work pretty good on top of them because those are pretty opaque and thick. Okay, one done. I'm gonna give this one some more water. Check it. Ooh, ready to go. Nice. That one's easy. So after we take the paper off, what do we do? Mm -hmm. uh, check for bubbles. Okay. And then move them out if you need to. Like this with one. The, I have with a, your brush or with what? Yeah, with your wet brush. Gently, very gently. Because you can just tear the tattoo. I have a little bit of a wrinkle. That's why I was asking. Yeah, no worries. Yep, definitely with your wet brush, you can pull out wrinkles. You can situate it the way you want it. And then you need to let it dry, obviously, before you do anything to it. Sometimes it's tempting to want to, you know, pat it dry. Don't do that. But you can pat around it. Since we're going to be dotting around it, I'm just going to dry up some of these puddles around it. I do like to seal my tattoo on the top with another layer of podge or matte medium. But for sake of live, I'm not going to do that because I don't have dry time. But I do recommend it. And you just gently paint it on top. Now remember, if you use matte medium, it's going to make them look dull until you seal it. And then they'll be nice and brilliant again. White gesso. Yes, absolutely. Um, okay. With gesso, though, you want to gesso and then make sure you seal that with a, a nice paint. Not a it needs to be a matte paint more like if you use a multi-surface paint then the tattoo doesn't want to stay you know um let's see I'm looking at commenting. I can't get <laughs> trying to scroll back. My computer, oh, my screen is frozen, but I think my comments are on. I don't know how far back those comments are, but. Can you guys see me? Is your screen frozen there? I can see you. Because both you and me, Katie, are frozen on my screen. On my computer, not on my phone. But I'm refreshing. That did no good. Okay. Whatever. All right. So for dotting, 
The only thing I worry about with the gesso is sometimes it tends to have like a gritty stuff in it. So you would. Yeah, that's like, why I meant you, you got to like seal Master's it. Touch. Um, Master's Touch has is very gritty. It's the um, Hobby Lobby brand. And so you you would want to either, you know, like sand it and make it smooth before you put anything, I would think. I think, um, yeah, what Katie said, maybe use, if it's a handmade rock, you shouldn't, well, I guess it depends on what you use to make it, but those should be pretty smooth as is. Maybe just use a, you know, a base coat paint. Yeah, of, of a matte white. Yeah. But I'm a professional color tends right. to be, like, thick enough, yeah. Yeah. Mmm. <laughs> okay, I think we're pretty much dry. How are you doing? I can't see. Oh, there you are. Okay. We can start on one side. Yes, so, so let's just use a matte white since it's so slick. Don't even yeah. mess with the gesso or chalk paint. Yep. Just go for it, girl. <laughs> Definitely. And I like my top dots thicker, so sometimes I let these set out for a while or open my bottle. But that's me. It's a personal preference. I'm shaking my paint. That's another what? thing too, guys. Always shake your paint. Doesn't matter what kind of paint it is, shake it. My paint, their paint, all the paint separates. Look, you can see the clear separation here. It's all kinds of paint separates. What are see you using one? for uh, your black? That is Apple Barrel Black Jet. Okay. Or just okay. black. And this one's still separated here, so I'm going to work on getting that There's one together. <laughs> so I think I'll do this color for top dots on this one. There's Miss Luna. Now for the flower. No moving, no moving. <laughs> oh, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to use my gold for top dots on this one. All right, and I like to use the dotting rods for doing the dots. Yeah, I have, I haven't pulled mine out yet, but I have the DIY mandala dotting tools. So these are what I like to use. And they're very used, as you can tell. <laughs> okay. We we are gonna sell tattoos, but not yet. They're not. We have they have not made it in yet. But it's definitely in the plans. Ooh, I added <laughs> some new things again to the store yesterday and today. Yesterday was the shimmer shots are in the store. These little drops, they're in there and available. And these are shots of color. And these actually have shimmer in them. And I also today added four new pens 
and these are invisible ink pens with the light on the the end so if you wanted to write a secret message now you can do it very easily with your pen and I have the liquid I, I redid the other one and took it out of the shop so this is an absolutely invisible clear liquid secret message ink and it comes with a light so you can say these tips dry out you can take your liquid and just like you would marry some alcohol ink markers you can touch the tip of your pen with the ink all you got to do is touch it and it sucks it up in there and you kind of reactivate your pen that way so even if it's dry it doesn't you don't need to throw it away because it'll work still with your refill these are sold separately but they are in there and they're not different colors these are all like green glow and then this is blue glow but they don't look bad mixed together you know it's not like you see both um I can show you guys this is what the drops look like the shimmer shots I call them <laughs> also those are coming out in black and white and neon and regular with no shimmer and I'm working on it all right back to dotting so for the first dots, the black dots, I like them to be kind of thin and flat. So I'm going to throw a little tip in here for you. I'm going to show you a little. Um, if you have a thicker paint like this, the Liquitex Basics, you don't want to dot straight with Liquitex Basics. It's way too thick. But if you just put some in a dish, grab you some pouring medium. I have the Liquitex Basics. Put enough pouring medium in there to where it's about half and half to start. Stir that baby up. I'm just using a small amount because this is something that takes longer to dry, so it's not great for uh, life purposes, but I want you to know how to do it. Mm -hmm. So what you want to do is when you, when you dot some color, When you make your dot, you want to make sure that your dot smooth rounds out like that and it doesn't stay sharp and to a point. So that means I have my stuff mixed up good because it's rounding out on the top. Okay. So that's how you use um, a thicker, like the more professional paints or whatever, That that's how you use those. And that way, you don't have to go buy something if that's all you have at home right now. Now, if you have um, Craft apple paint. barrel, like the mm -hmm. apple barrel black is real thin, and you want it to be a thicker dot, then you're going to add um, a gloss medium. And it's, it's like more like, it's like a thicker paste. And you'll add that to the thin and make well, it they have a they have a matte medium that's a thick paste too it just depends on what you want matte yeah, or it's a gloss gel. well most people yeah. want gloss right for dots want what gloss for dots mm, i don't use well i guess you could yeah but this guess, is what yeah. it looks like it's like a cream okay. 
Cool. And that will thicken your dots. So if, so if yours is too thin. I was just trying to give them some pointer. No, I got I got it. I like that um, gloss idea. I never think about that because I always use mattes. <laughs> yeah, no, I prefer gloss, but that's just me. But I'm going to use the Apple Bear Black because it dries quick. But I typically like to use something thicker. I like using Apple Barrel Black on everything because it is thin, but it's like a one coater, you know? It's thin, but black. It's really opaque. Like, I very rarely have to put two coats of it on anything. But I'm... I don't know. I might not be picky about it, though, either. So, I, I don't use acrylic enough. Oh, I am. I'm definitely like certain brands of things, but I, I use, I have a big bottle of Apple Barrel Black because I do use it a lot for base coating. Because it is super matte. Mm -hmm. um, I'm using this big dotting tool for a lot of the main dots. And then I go in with different size tools to fill in in between. I'm using a 11, if y'all want to know. I didn't really know. I just picked one up and started using it. I'm using one about the size of my pinky. <laughs> no <laughs> idea what size it is. It's as big as my toe. Right. It's my eyeball. I have a, no, I don't have an ear. I was going to say I have an iridescent medium, but it's not. It's a, it's a glitter medium. Mm, who makes that? That's fun. Or maybe it's a varnish. Let me look. Oh, I was going to sign something out for someone. Actually, I said <laughs> that twice today that I was going to sign something for them. Um. <laughs> Diane, uh, Diane Icarella was having some issues because she can't use resin. So oh, yeah, yeah. she used your watercolor and she said she sprayed it, but the, the color bled. still ran. Yeah. Um, so um, what did you figure out? I, well, I haven't scienced it yet because I threw out my DuraClear the other day. So I know. I'm so over DuraClear. It has just, you know, it does have its place. But with watercolor, gouache, pens, <laughs> you know, tattoos, and foil, it's a nightmare. I know. So if you use any of those things, don't use your DuraClear with it. But I'm thinking that... It needs to be a heavier spray. Like, you're supposed to do a couple of light sprays at first and let them dry. But then I always do a third or fourth heavy coat. So I have never had anything run with um, matte spraying my rocks. That's why I'm so confused why once she matte sprayed, the DuraClear smeared. I, mm -hmm. I just think that it needs more spray but i don't know um that's why i need well, to science it i didn't um go back and read comments but it needs a lot of dry time all the way right. the right. paint needs a lot of dry time the spray needs a lot of dry time if you're going to use dirt clear and many coats of spray like three four five DuraClear eats through things, so maybe that's I don't what's know what, happening. I don't know what the chemical is in it, but it breaks down sprays and varnishes and 
So it would. It doesn't matter. So if if she used a different varnish, like say Liquitex varnish, that would be probably um, a better be choice better. than Duraclear. Is Liquitex varnish permanent? Like, I think she's looking for a seal. So does it? Is the varnish? Yeah, she wants to seal it. Okay. Without using resin. Yeah, I think uh, the varnish work. We've tried that, right? That works with my watercolors, right? With which one? With the gouache. Does it work? Have you tried it? The varnish. Um, no, I'm not a varnish girl. I, I, I know. Use resin. I'm like resin. Yeah. Um, well, we can try some things and see what we can come up with. Like you um, said, we'll science it. <laughs> we need some answers anyway, so. Yeah. There was something else that I was supposed to science, too, and I'm trying to. Oh, someone asked me if. I'm just sharing with you all the science projects that I'm tell telling people that I'm going to do. <laughs> someone <laughs> needs help with. They want to know if ink tits, they can use your watercolors with ink tits. And I, I would say yes. The problem is that ink tints, you have to make sure that all of it is activated for it to be permanent. If it right. is not all activated, you will pull up some of that color. And it, it is hard to get it all activated. But... If you're wanting to use, like, I, I'm, I'm guessing they're wanting to use some of the sparkly chameleon stuff with their ink tints. I'm thinking it would work. It's just you have to make sure that the ink tints is completely activated and completely dry before you can put the watercolor on top of it. Because it's supposed to be waterproof, done, permanent once and it's dry. activated and dried. So that's another thing I need to do. Science, I have ink tense pencils, so I can definitely do that. Cool. So I'll I don't let y'all know. Have those, so. <laughs> well, you have a friend that has them. <laughs> Yay. Lucky. Hey, I got them on a really good deal before they went up to a million dollars. I was going to say they are like so outside of my budget. <laughs> Yeah, they're beautiful, and I like ink and dye, you know. They're really nice to work with. These um, shimmer shots that I made are inks and dyes, so they're uh, water-based and water-reactivatable, but they're intense. They're not like the gouaches, so if um, if you're thinking, you know, it's redundant, they're way, way different. They're a liquid watercolor. Um, Jennifer's been put in timeout. Oh, she was no. A, she was a bad girl. Um, and I'm using, if you're, are you asking about the paint or the tool? What I'm using for dotting. This is Apple Barrel Black. Sure, I'm paint. all off screen. No one yells at me. <laughs> Y'all yell at me when I'm off screen. My, mm, I don't know if you guys can see this, but look how far back. Uh, hang on. My screen is frozen, Katie. <laughs> Can you see it? Oh, yeah. No dots. You're still putting on your tattoos where my screen is frozen. Yeah. <laughs> but you can see on the cam, on the phone, right? Yeah, I can see on the phone. It's just like, I worry about the comments, how accurate they are. Right now, it's just Lori and Jennifer talking. Okay. If mine's correct, like, who knows? <laughs> I know, right? Who knows? All right, let's see.
Ooh, good tip, Phyllis. She says she lets her watercolor dry at least 24 hours before using the high varnish, the gloss, Liquitex high gloss varnish. You know, that's probably an, the, what we should probably strive for instead of DuraClear, you know, maybe. Yeah, see, I my rocks do dry um, that long. I'm not one that takes my rock in and resins it right after I'm done. So I, maybe She's that's why me. I never have these <laughs> issues. I'm I'm so impatient. So <laughs> I can't even use uh, UV resin. I'm not patient, and I, <laughs> I have to use top coat. Because I don't want to wait the five minutes that you have to wait for UV resin. I want it now. I now. think my my comments have frozen on my laptop. Uh oh. Let me Hold close on. out. Let me close out and go back. Here we go. Back I see Allison. Good night. Here. Good night, Allison. Thank you for hanging out. Yeah, we're just kind of boring and dotting tonight, I guess. Huh? I know. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Well, it'll get way more interesting when we get the color dots going. <laughs> I say way more interesting. It'll just be color dots. <laughs> it'll be so much more interesting. <laughs> okay, I'm going down to the smaller size. I keep touching my other rock. Hold on, I gotta move it far away, farther away. See, I'm dotting myself now. Every I'm seeing so many dots. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I see spots. I also did one of these one time with a hummingbird and then on the big top dots they had nice big rhinestones and that was beautiful. Yes it was, I saw it. Thank you. Lori says, Wanda, I saw an arrow on your laptop. Is your video paused? Click on that arrow on your laptop. <laughs> it was. <laughs> I'm so fired. That's hilarious. I'm all it's frozen forever. What's going on? <laughs> I'm crying. Sorry, you guys. I'm not the sharpest tool in the toolbox. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, you guys cannot trust me. So you just assume that I've definitely done it wrong. <laughs> Thank you, Lori. Whew. Man, I'm glad someone's paying attention. <laughs> we did promise dots and laughs, so, you know. Lori's on top of the technicals, let me tell you. <laughs> She's amazing. I seriously have had kind of a stressful day today, so my brain is fried. I was kind of excited about the dots because... There's not a lot of thinking, you know, you just, it's actually pretty relaxing. Yeah. But, um, you know, I still apparently mess up easy. <laughs> These are big rocks too. The ones I did in the other tutorials were very small. 
So yeah, there's a lot of dots going on here. But my tutorials back then were like, you know, 15 minutes versus three hours. So <laughs> we serious out here, huh? We hang out forever. Well, and I probably won't finish all of these on live tonight, but I wanted to get some started. Yeah. I thought might as well do four and then I'll have four kindness rocks. Definitely. They always remind me of dragon's eggs. <laughs> it looks cool just like that. <laughs> Yeah, it does, honestly. Okay, Kitty Cat, your turn for some dot more dots. You know, I've only done one dragon's egg, and the one I did was from a long time ago, and I wasn't real, real happy with it. We should do that one time. Oh my gosh, yes, I love doing those dragon's eggs. Oh my gosh. Are I you would talking like about to be more successful. Or are you talking about well, the bubbles one? Um, no, not necessarily. Are you talking about where you put the dawn? Yeah. No, no, not that. Like. Okay. Maybe I'm not thinking of a dragon's what? egg. Maybe a dragon eye is what I'm thinking oh, of. Oh, eye. Oh, okay. Eye. I've never even done an eye. Wow. We should do it because I'm like, you know, I get... I used to not ever do anything that resembled a face and an eye was like, you know, too way too close to a face. So I might could do that now. But I would like to try a dragon egg too. I've seen some out there. I like this one thing I do and it's kind of like a quilt. It looks like a quilted rock, but it Everyone looks also saying like a yes to the dragon egg. Yay! Okay, cool. So it looks like a quilt? Yeah, it's a dragon egg, but it ends up looking like a quilt. And I did that on tutorial, too. It was a very short. Maybe it was more like a short, not a tutorial. You know what I mean? But I showed them how to do a few of oh. the, the quilted dots that I made. It's in there buried somewhere. It's not on, like, YouTube, but it's in our... It's either oh, okay. in our guides or hashtag Wanda or something. Okay. It was around the same time as all this because it's this paint. So I'd say, what was this one? August or something of 20. The original tutorial for this. Hot flash. And I'm going to be honest. I didn't even... I don't even remember that one. When when um, Bonita started talking about that one, and I was like, that looks cool. Why haven't we done that? And then it all blew up, and I was like, let's do that Wednesday. So, um, I think that was before I met you. Maybe, I guess. So it I guess like, I need I, to look at your old stuff. I had just started um, in the group, and... Um, yeah, I was just learning how to do tutorials and teach and all that stuff. I was so nervous all the time, too. A lot of my earlier ones are just with me holding my phone. <laughs> so they're like, I'm like one-handed. <laughs> I, I think there's still something to offer, though, with them. You can see the growth for sure. And that you is done some cool things. That's the testimony, you guys, because you guys grew with me, you know? Yeah. You got to watch progress, and I am by no means professional, but I have learned a lot. So I, that's it. I just like to share, and that's what this this group is about, sharing techniques. It's not us training, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm not qualified to do that. <laughs> 
I'm not a teacher, yeah. but I like to share. <laughs> and Katie likes to share, right? Yep. Not my chocolate, I, though. I was just going to say, and I like to eat my chocolate. Mm -hmm. I'm full on eating king size tonight. Not none of that thin stuff. We got the thick one. <laughs> Okay, I have graduated down to the smaller dotting tool. I think this is a fantastic way to make an incredible piece of art without stress, fast, you know, like in a day you could have an amazing finished project. I, I just, wow. These are fun. I'm digging yours so much. Look at that Aww. sexy fairy. I like that I call dragon it, one. I call it a sexy fairy because when you look it up, those aren't available on Amazon. I found them on Etsy too, by the way, the sexy fairies. But um, when you look them up, they're called sexy fairies. So they might be on Amazon now, but... I was looking for fairy temporary tattoos, which are hard to find. Yeah, I noticed that. I I was looking, I was trying to help someone find something today, and I was like, there's no fairies. Yeah, there's, it's, if I knew how to make a temporary tattoo, <laughs> be like, we could have the market. <laughs> Okay, here goes Katie looking for temporary tattoo paper. <laughs> they do have it. They do. It's like it's called water slide. But um, oh, that's what water slide is. Pretty much, yeah. Oh well, then let's just start printing up our own. I I say pretty much because water slide is a bit more tricky. You have to spray it with like spray clear spray paint lacquer let it dry spray paint it again and then you soak it in the water and the thing slides off and you put it on your it's just kind of a pain in the rump that it's a great like it. idea but there has to be a better way to do it like how do they make these i mean i there has to be a way you could there probably is i just haven't even explored it lately but when we did the water slide tutorials a couple of years ago it was a it, it was a thing <laughs> and margie bless her heart has the patience and she did the tutorial because i couldn't deal with it <laughs> but she did a good one she did a written one so if you're not all into you know watching a really long explanation she has a written version of it or the video. And she included like her sources. So where she got the information. So you can yeah. watch those as well. I guess I'll have to mess with water slide paper then. I have some somewhere. Or, well, I might have sent it to, yeah, it's not too bad expensive, though. I can get more. It's, um. Or let me do some research. Yeah. I don't remember all that's there. involved, but... <laughs> Oh, 
I may somewhere still have some water slides. Margie made a bunch and sent them to me because I quit. I was kind of like the cricket. I was like, mm -mm. <laughs> I'm not patient enough for this. Oh, I love doing the cricket now. Now that I know how to use design space. Hmm. That was where I lost my brain right there. Well, I mean, it is a little technical until you learn all the tricks, but YouTube has been very helpful to me. It has. You're right, Jennifer. On ink debt printed water slides, you've got to really spray a lot. I don't have a laser, so I don't even know how that would come out, but I just had the opportunity to buy another printer and I, this is how, I guess, old I am. I didn't even, I opted for the exact same printer because <laughs> I don't want to learn a new one. I know. I'm too tired and busy to learn right now. I mean, I learn every day, but, you know, it's like, no. Just give me the one that fits in my little printer drawer right here. <laughs> but you guys... If you saw how I messed it up, you would laugh. <laughs> Should I tell him? Yeah. Okay, so I'm trying to make labels for our new shimmer shots. So I get this bright idea, and I buy this really pretty paper that looks like the foil we have. So I buy it, and it was just sitting there, sitting there, sitting there. So I was getting some labels ready to go in the printer. And Lori, bless your heart, was doing the label part. Like, she was using her program and making the template for me and then sending it to me, and I could just print it. So I thought, okay, well, I'm going to just print these right on that pretty paper I have. <laughs> so I put it in there and printed, and that dang thing peeled off because it's one big sheet of sticker, not like cut labels. You can use it. It says you're supposed to be able to print on it, and then you can put it in a Cricut and cut out like st it's like sticker paper yeah it's this okay so this is paper size it's supposed to go see it's bendable it's supposed to go right in the printer so i put it in there like piece of paper i adjusted my setting that said thick paper and off we go well all of a sudden i hear this like uh, uh. <laughs> i was like that's not right so I'm trying to stop it, and, you know, printers don't just stop, so it decided, okay, it's had enough, so it said it was clogged, so I opened it up, and that sticker had peeled off completely and stuck itself up to every movable part there is in there, and it is so sticky, there is no one doing that damage. <laughs> it was like, it had to be, <laughs> I had to have a funeral for it and everything, it was awful, poor printer that thing was already on its last <laughs> legs though y'all it was <laughs> let me just tell y'all she could hardly oh, yeah. print on the thing yes it broke my printer it broke it good because when you tried when i tried to take it off it like pulled out all, all these pieces and <laughs> like it was really stuck in there really bad stuck i even took the printer apart partially and couldn't <laughs> salvage any of it. I did manage to save the ink, though. So I have the same printer coming. And I could use the ink. <laughs> so I'm partially smart because the ink was new. <laughs> yeah, Katie makes the wording in the shop. So definitely, if you're like me and uh, you can't stand your Cricut, order from the shop. That's Miss Katie. Yeah, and if there's something you want particular, just let me know and I'll try to work on it. I mean, I'm no, I'm no uh, whiz or anything yet, but I can sure give it a shot if you want a certain quote or something like that. Okay, I'm done with that think are you on to your top dots yet no i have four going here 
Okay. I'm contemplating skipping finishing one and just going to top dots, but I love them both so much I don't want to skip. This is called walking the dots, guys. When you start with a lot of paint on your tool and you make a dot and another dot and another dot and another dot and then it gets smaller and smaller and smaller, that's walking the paint off of the tool. Walk, walk, walk. Take a walk. But that's a good way to get different sized dots. I've been home for three days and I'm so looking forward to getting out of the house and going to see you tomorrow. Yay. I'm ready. My husband and son worked for me today and they did really good. They packed like 45 tins of paint and they got us really ready for tomorrow. <laughs> cool. Yeah. They did some shrink wrap and some labeling and it's a whole thing over here. I noticed some of the people were getting their prizes today. Yay. And posting it. Oh, speaking of. Will you do the wheel for me? <laughs> so for bad. What? I'm pretty sure I owe somebody a prize for the shimmer shots. Oh. I put that post in there. And then I forgot to do the spin when I did uh, finally come up with a name for them. I didn't use a name that you guys picked. I did use um, names for the paint, but not the for each color of paint but not for the paint but i'm doing the prize just based on a wheel not based on if i picked something you did but um <laughs> yeah so i don't want to or just write it down so i can don't forget see you got it she has to keep notes because i can't remember my own name i have a spiral she, notebook that i keep yeah, all she my has, notes in she has our uh, foiling rock lady bible <laughs> <laughs> but I still miss things like you know people that have won and we've forgotten to send their prize out because we're like totally overloaded so I do miss things but I I've been trying to be really good about it it's a learning experience. I'm not a business person and this is all new, you know. So yeah. learn as you go. But it's been so much fun and you guys make it awesome. It's fun when people want to hang out and you guys are excited and you like what you're seeing, watching, you know, it's it's exciting. Yeah, I sent some of my peace signs out with the prizes this time, so that was fun. Yay, you guys get some original Katie's. That's pretty awesome. Well, I don't get to drop as often as I would like, so I thought I'll just start sending them in packages when I can. That's still kindness rocking. Yeah. You're just dropping in a different way. Yep, I'm dropping it in the mail. And this way, someone we know gets it, too. <laughs> Not that, I mean, I like it when strangers get the rocks, too, but 
it's always nice when a friend gets one. Yeah, I just had one posted um, yesterday. I mean, today that they awesome. found one of my rocks. Oh, that's so cool. It was one of the ones I dropped at Fresenius when I posted the three that I dropped. Ooh, that's cool. Which one was it? The It was the lady that had the rainbow rain. Oh, she sweet. was all like in black it. with her umbrella, and then she had, and then there was rainbow rain. Yeah, that's so cool. Right on. So, a you got another member, and b somebody posted a rock. Yep. And if you guys don't know, rockin. Dot kk, correct? Yeah. Yeah. On Facebook is Katie's private group. It's more locals here in Texas, but just in case. But all my rock buds are making their way in there. <laughs> yeah. I haven't been very active the last couple of days because I was not, I was a little under the weather, but I'm feeling better by tonight. I really think I'm definitely on the mid, so... Hopefully tomorrow I can start my posting back up again. I know. I have to do better with, like, Instagram. And it's hard to remember all of the platforms. <laughs> I just can't do TikTok and Twitter and all those other ones. So I'm like, well, no. Facebook and That's YouTube and Instagram is like... <laughs> it i know all the younger people though they want to do tiktok i'm like i can't i just can't because i go down that rabbit hole and it's hours before i come back <laughs> every time i go to tiktok to to put something there i end up staying there until tomorrow but it's these bigger addicting. these bigger people that put stuff on all their they social network they have people working for them doing that Oh, right. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure not sure. all of them do, but there's no way that I could do all of the social medias. You're good at it, though. Well, I, I was really good at Instagram, but my poor Instagram has really gone downhill because I just don't have the time to keep up with it anymore as much as I want to. Because you really, for Instagram to work, little tips here, you need to make at least two posts a day um, and post every single day. Um, you shorts. need to have a... Huh? And shorts. Or what yeah. are reels or whatever they're called. Yeah, you want to post reels and you want to have something going on your story. The whole, like all the time you want something going 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 all the time and um it's it's a lot of work just instagram alone but unfortunately we have to spend most of our time on facebook so instagram ends up going by the wayside most of the time for me but i try sometimes i get a story up and a reel done and all of that yeah there is a I can't remember what it is or even what it's called or how it works, but it is like a cross posting thing like Jennifer was saying. Or cross streaming too. Like you can stream on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram all at the same time. Oh wow. Right? That would be amazing. It would be super duper techie and you gotta have a few different platforms and a lot of people <laughs> helping you, you know, like get it together so that's for the but real maybe. big creators i guess uh -huh. yeah exactly we're not big <laughs> no we're babies we're not even medium <laughs> nice and gooey yeah <laughs> I can't make up my mind if I want to put green in there or not. No, probably, huh? 
it's kind of pretty it'll it'll um maybe not a lot but a little bit just because of the leaf mm-hmm okay i will i'm gonna pick gold and green i know gold is like not even in there anywhere but uh, well everybody knows about you and gold should i do red should i go find a red and do a red i wish you had some red extreme glitter that would be the way to go i could make them well make it girl <laughs> i think you have my red glitter though no i i gave you all your glitter back you did yeah my bag. My bag. My bag. I'm all but I don't see it. Well. Oh, oh, I found it. I found it. Oh, you guys. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> That's me being silly. Wait, let me stop and read this message from Phyllis. Oh, shoot. Go back up. Oh, if I'm ready, put on a tattoo, but the one I like is black and white. I was thinking to do some distress oxide. Why is it print? Why is my link posting over and over again? I was thinking to do some distress oxide and matte spray or dry brushed acrylics of color or leave it black and white, but I don't know what color of large dots to do. Ooh, um. I guess it would be um, if you're doing a black and white. Tattoo. You can pretty much use any color you want to. I would think if you're wanting to keep it a black and white. Thing, though. I don't know. That's kind of a. That's a conundrum. Wanda, I'm passing that off to you. I don't even. I was. I was out. What was that? What's that? Phyllis is doing a black and white. Um, tattoo. Mm -hmm. And she was asking about the top dots like what to do for the dots but she was thinking about either doing a distress oxide on the rock and then spraying it or doing um some dry brushing with acrylics and but then I, top dots on top of that or i i don't know i'm confused I I agree, Bonita. I think she still should do the black dots, but then I think you can do whatever you want for the color, for the top dots. Whatever color that you want, unless you're wanting to stay with the black and white theme, and then you're going to want to do, you know, black dots with white top dots. But you could use, like, a pearl white dot if you wanted to have, like a gloss or something okay so what i'm seeing is that phyllis your tattoo is black and white so there's no color in it and you're wondering whether or not to do a what i what i'm not understanding is that is the distress oxides black and white or color or you don't want to do anything on top of those if you Aww. because Distress oxides are water reactive. Whatever you touch on them will leave a mark. Um, so there's that. And then I think you you could do wow, it could be so cool. Like a pop of a color would be amazing, or a bunch of different colors would be amazing. 
I don't know what happened just now, but I heard, ah. Oh. <laughs> oh, uh, my thing dripped and made like a long dot right. And then I smeared this one showing you. Uh -oh. See, it made a long dot and then I smeared it. So uh -oh. I'm going to have to fix that in a minute. Whoops, I'm making a mess over here. I can't find my clear glue. So <laughs> anyways, I'm just making my glitter watercolor base it's like a paste and we're going to use that for dots and then when it dries it'll be the glitter watercolor there we go and that is thick i went thick on that though so i wouldn't it wouldn't drip off the rock but we'll see how this goes <laughs> Oh, that's going to be pretty. I got to find a wedge here for my rock. I'm going to pour some of this in there. course there it is i know we had some experience doing some stuff with white um tattoos didn't we and we had a little bit of trouble with it um i'm i don't know i know that i like to color them with alcohol ink and paint them This may or may not work because of it's more of a liquid, you know, like I need that gel base. So I think if I put it here, it's going to just drip down. Maybe, maybe not. Oh, it's binder. It's my watercolor binder. Usually, well, that's how I make the glitter paint that I make. But usually I would do this with a clear glue, like Elmer's clear school glue so that I can see it. I don't, you can do it with a white glue that dries clear perfectly fine, but I can't see it well enough. I don't like that milky look like that's one of the reasons I don't like glitterific because it's cr milky white like that, but it doesn't harm it at all. I'm just impatient. <laughs> I don't want to wait. But I'm trying to see if these are going to travel because I, they are. I agree, Kathleen. You could mix medium in with the glitter and it would work too. It would, absolutely. And it would probably have been a better choice, but this is actually working. You just have to be very thick with your glitter. See how pretty? What do you think, Katie? Oh, yeah. Gorgeous. <laughs> I probably shouldn't have put them all close together because I was going to put gold dots, too. <laughs> I might still cover up some and do gold when they dry. I think I'm going to start spacing these a little farther apart.
Oh, it's just glitter and there's a lot of glitter and my binder. That's it. Hang on. That's my binder. Lots. <laughs> I use it in gallons. So I just grabbed a little bit of my binder and then mixed just glitter with it. It's a very fine glitter. And it makes it fluffy because it's the glitter is so fine that it fluffs up like uh, Is that answer the question, Kathleen? Like I'm egg sorry. White. Like, yeah, it fluffs up like egg whites. It's crazy how it does it. Oh, she's saying mix the medium in with what are what you already mixed. I don't know what that means. She's saying add the medium into oh, your to this? Mi oh. mixture that already has the yes. binder and glitter in it. Uh, that would work, you know, because they're all water-based. That's a great idea. You're too smart. Gosh, sorry, Kathleen. Well, not, not at first I wasn't smart. She had to ex explain herself further. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all, yeah, cut yes, us a break. We're, we've had a long day, man. Ooh, Lori, I, I don't even know out. what. I don't know what. Brand is the I don't know. It's um, brandless. Yeah, sorry. They don't have a label. They're a no brand. It's one of the distributors I work with for my pigment. It's a wholesale, so you'd have to buy mass quantity. Okay, I think I'm about but done you, with those. If you look for red holographic fine glitter, I think this made it more liquidy though. <laughs> Oddly enough, I could have mixed it with the um, paste though. Probably should have done that. Yep, this one's thicker. My binder is pretty thick, though. This binder that I'm working with right now is special for the gouache. It's not the watercolor binder. Okay, so top dots, I want some blue. Well, really, she has rainbow leggings, so I just need the rainbow out. Um, glitter, what is that, the name of the glitter company? Glitter Arts and Crafts for You, Glitter for You. Um, you can get, I get a lot of my glitter there, and you don't have to buy bulk there. You have that one, Lori, don't you, that link for Glitter Crafts for You? Thank you, Allison. Thanks, guys. I wish I could take credit, but it's not my red. But it's a beautiful red. <laughs> I mean, it technically is my red glitter paint. So if you like this, it's uh, available on <laughs> um, custom order. And my glitter quads are only $20. So if you guys wanted four colors of paint, glitter paint like this, 
they come dried in a quad, but all you have to do is activate them wet. Let them get soupy, mix them up like this, and that's how you work with them. I think it's glitter arts and craft. What is it called, Lori or Katie? Glitter. I am drawing a blank for the glitter lady. Glitter and crafts for you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> like, what in the heck? I am so sorry. Yeah. The pictures aren't that great, but the glitter is beautiful. So. So you can't base it on the pictures because they don't. Unfortunately, they're not that great, but. Lori was in timeout. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. Gosh, I know if you, so check this out. I found out if you make, what is it? More than one comment every four seconds or something, they time you out. Because they think you're a generator doing spam. And Lori's fast, so. <laughs> you little spammer. I know, we're a bunch of spammers. They think because uh, we share links that we're um, spamming you guys. What they don't realize is that we tell you that, and if you come in here, you know that in advance, and they should read but they don't. And that's what Facebook says. You just have to disclaimer and we do. So why? It's do just an automatic thing that they do. It's, yeah. it's not like there's not people actually doing I it. I know. It's, it's the, an algorithm. Yeah. I know. Well, they can algorithm. rhythm. <laughs> <laughs> I keep jumping through hoops and doing everything I'm supposed to do, and it's like they keep making it harder. <laughs> Lori, I like spam, so you're lucky. I think I should be in Hawaii, because I hear Hawaii, ha even McDonald's has spam, right? Yep. <laughs> yeah, it's a treat for them in Hawaii. They love spam. My husband loves spam. I, I do too. <laughs> like, I like fried spam sandwich. Thank you. <laughs> it's okay. Clog my, clog my arteries. I will take it. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. Whose idea was this? Yours, Katie. Said you should well, use glitter. Well, but but Lita started it. Oh, the glitter was my idea, yeah. This doesn't even do it justice, though, like how cool looking this is. <laughs> Kathy Salazar, if I didn't ship it off, I could have showed you guys. She just ordered a beautiful purple quad, glitter quad, like this stuff. Katie got to see it, though. It was gorgeous. It was. It was beautiful. I did take pictures. I should post those. I know I said I was going to do gold, but the red is so dang pretty. I don't follow rules, so who said you can't make paint out of glitter, right? <laughs> it's so, so you know cool what? how it gets fluffy, too. I know. 
<laughs> it's neat. It's like egg whites. Oops, that one's too big. Oh, well. Okay, I'm going to let this one rest and then I'll come back and do the smaller dots with something different. Now I want to do some more glitter dots over here. <laughs> Oh, I guess I don't need to do that. Okay. <laughs> Lori, did you get a ticket? No, you forgot to follow the speed limit. <laughs> you forgot. Oh my goodness. Everybody meet Lori. <laughs> so the way I like to use these is with a smaller tool and then I like to grab a big dollop of this of paint. Yes. Dollop of daisy. See it's like a match stick on the end there. And then I press it straight down in the middle in a big clump and then I pull up and then tie it off like a knot like so and that gives me a tall dot can you see the pointy dot yeah I like that You don't want to pull up and over because then it'll string right on your rock. That's why a lot of people don't like this because of that stringy effect. But if you can use it to your benefit. And unfortunately, it, it requires a thing that I don't have a lot of, which is patience. But you just get low to it and spin it and tie it off like that and it'll... They will self-level a bit, but they stay nice and bumpy, and I love that. And the longer it sits in the dish, the easier it is to work with. <laughs> Can you thin it out? Well, yeah. But why? <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah, you can use whatever you use to, uh, like your liquid mediums, liquid text matte medium. Well, this one's a gloss, so you wouldn't want to use matte with it. But you could even use water. Water is probably the best to thin this stuff out. Just a few drops of water. I like it thick, though. Me too. It's perfect for dots. When you first get it, it's nice and thin, but if you, after the first, second time you use it, it thickens up like this, and I love that, though. <laughs> Makes beautiful I mean, dot, hot dots. Yes. I'm actually going to go one bigger on my tool because my dots are pretty big.
Yeah, exactly. If you use water, it does change the qualities of the paint. So it is, I mean, but I think that if you want it thinner water, just a couple of drops, I'm not talking like a lot of water, just a drop or two. Katie, are those Artezas you're using? Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. It's okay. I keep I'm all, forgetting that's okay. to look up at my comments on over on the laptop. I know that's it's hard to pay attention when we don't have comments because we got to like look away from what we're doing. When we do have comments, it's on in our face, you know? Yeah. Yep. Iridescent, yeah. Those are the iridescent, or what are they called? The Arteza what? Iridescent. It's a set of like 10, I think. They're pretty close to color shift, so, I mean, if you have we color matched, shift, I wouldn't buy iridescent. Right. We matched them up, and they are, like, darn near the same thing. Like, and so very, very close. has an, an extra couple of colors, like um, Dragon Flash, which I'm fixing to use. And I don't um, have that. Iridescent I have doesn't that. have. So... And you know it's not as stringy. Um, the the iridescent, the Arteza iridescent isn't as stringy as Color Shift. And that's a plus, or yes, <laughs> that's a big plus. I like the, I like the stringy. <laughs> well, it's still nice and thick. Like I I didn't have any issues at all. No, I, li I but, like it, too. Definitely. But I forgot about the stringiness when I went to the color shift, and I already made a mistake. Ooh. Darn it. Yeah, you gotta tie that off at the top. It's the little wiggle. There, and I go and make one just now because I'm all being a badass. Nope, doesn't work. See, don't toot your own horn. You'll blow your speaker. <laughs> yeah, I love Dragon Flash. So, I have both Color Shift and Iridescent. I'm, I'm That's just me. I have all of those, all the glitters, because that's what I love to dot and use stuff with, but you don't have to go all out like me save save your money i guess or not whatever you want to do <laughs> it's like or not it is amazon prime days <laughs> so. it's almost over you better hurry if you want to. i know i think i got everything out of my cart but you know there's always a couple of things left to get right Uh, I didn't find too much of the stuff on my list that was on Prime Day, so it was just like a couple things. At first, I wasn't finding any great deals. Like, I noticed that some of the things were actually higher in price. Like, not higher as in, okay, it's like they raised the price so that they could say they lowered it. Does that make sense? Right. 
Yeah. Yeah. That I thought was pretty shady on a few of the things that I use. But then there was a couple of things I used that were really big discounts, like gum Arabic. I buy it in the gallon buckets. And they were $10 off per bucket. And I'm like, uh, yes, please. <laughs> Five buckets in my buggy. <laughs> I bet you guys didn't know you could go through that much gum Arabic, huh? You guys do. <laughs> Jennifer, you still have a minute. <laughs> Good girl. I probably wouldn't have if I wasn't using stuff all the time, you know? I didn't buy anything. Last year I did, but the year before I, I didn't buy anything. Um, this one's Orchid Flash. That one is not in the iridescence either. And it's I real love pretty. That Orchid Flash, yeah. It's got a gold shift to it. <laughs> I'm using Pink Flash, which has a blue purple shift. But then Iridescence has the playful pink, which is a real pretty. Oh, um, iridescent pink color that uh, you won't tell, be able to see it till it's dry, but it's starting to dry and you can kind of see it on the edges, what it looks like, but um, it's also pretty. So, you know, they both have their I own. Would, you could pick and choose, like, as far as the yellow and the green, these are the same. Like, you don't need them in both. But then the Orchid Flash and Dragon Flash I would get, and then the playful pink in the RTs that I would get. Can you buy them Although, separately, though? That's what I was just going to ask. I don't know if you can buy them separately. Are you using pink, Teresa's asking? Me? Yeah, it's pink flash. Pink flash? Yeah. I'm just about done with her. Ooh, sorry, I just looked over at my other one drying and it's so glittery. Oh my gosh, I don't even know. Oh, I wish it would show you guys. Can you see it? It's beautiful. <laughs> and they didn't drip, not one of them. That is so cool. That's some good binder. <laughs> yes, toot, I'm giving toot. myself. I know. I'm all, yes, I'm tooting again. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, it's okay to be proud, right? You can, yes. That's why I said toot toot. Y'all toot your horns. Y'all deserve it. Everyone deserves it. When you're super proud of something, toot that <laughs> horn. That binder is in, it's, it's the same binder for everything, but it's either thicker or thinner depending on the recipe, but it's in all the watercolors, the gouaches, and the shimmer, the shimmer shots. Oh, man. You're leaving some dots just black, right? The smaller mm -hmm. ones? Yeah. Yeah, the little bitty baby ones will just stay black. And then uh, the like medium size or the bigger little ones, I'm not sure yet. I think I want to put something in there like a 
I really want a gold somewhere, but I don't know. I don't know. Got rid of that little mess up right there. I think I'm pretty happy with it just like that. I don't know That's if I want to add any other thoughts. Stunning, 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 stunning. I'm going to put her off to the side before I stick my hand in it. Did I crowd mine too much by coming in and not leaving a white area around my... You, I don't think so. You know so. how you... You left a frame around your girl. Should I have done that? Well, the only reason I did that is because there's color. Oh, the tattoo. She has like yeah. a, a misty color around her. So. Oh, okay. But on this one, I didn't do that because she didn't have that. She just had these little ribbons. Oh, cool. Which I'm going to do some things with that too. I know you're probably wanting to go, huh? <laughs> you can't go. Yeah. Where did you get that from? I just started on this one. Oh, okay, cool. I wasn't sure if you were going to do more than one. <laughs> oh, no. I'm. Yeah, I was going to at least do this one. Because I want to do some fun rhinestones around the kitty collar and stuff. Oh, I knew you were going to get those rhinestones out. You can't stand it. <laughs> I know. I'm sorry. No, I'm not. I'm not sorry. That has some chunkage on it or something. <laughs> That's better. What the hell is <laughs> it had a piece of chunkage on it. I don't Ooh, know what it that was. That sounds bad. No chunkage. <laughs> Just, I'm sorry. I don't even know why that's funny. It's my inner child. <laughs> Sneaking out again. <laughs> I love that electric purple. Oh, yeah. That's this. Oh, this one's just purple flash, but it's like that, right? Oh, yeah, look at that on your fairy. Form. Holy Holy moly, that's awesome looking. Of course, I picked the two tattoos that were the same color, red and red. Get off of there. Dang it. Uh -huh. Bonita says, if you need to hide one of your fairies, it would be totally safe at her house. Do what? <laughs> Bonita said, if you need to hide one of your fairies, it would be totally safe at her house. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Why you gotta live in Canada? I know. <laughs> She's got some packages going out soon, just saying. <laughs> Oh, 
But this sucker will weigh a pound just by itself. I know, they're huge, these rocks. If it goes over a pound, it jumps up to like $70. From 1511. Oh, and the prices just went up. So I don't even know how much it is right now at the moment. So they just went up on Sunday. Yeah, that's a sad state of affairs these days when it comes to shipping anything. Right. And that price is like my Etsy discounted price. I don't, it was one before I started using Etsy labels, it was like over $20 to ship under, under a pound, <laughs> unless it was a letter, which you can use a global stamp on. It was over $20 and it was insane. I still think $15 is ridiculous, but it's better than what it was. So I know that I charge 20, but that's because it can go anywhere from 15 to 18, depending on how much under a pound it is. And then I refund the difference, so. And if it goes over, I don't charge, unless it's ridiculous. <laughs> then I call you and beg, <laughs> please, I was wrong. <laughs> Yeah, all posted rates went up. It's ridiculous. I can't even understand how it went from 50 cents a couple of years ago to 60 cents. This weekend um, it went flat, up. Flat rate boxes international are still very high, Jane. Oh my goodness, yeah. Why am I twirling my paint? Let me show you. Because, it, see how stringy it is? So when you twirl it, it cuts off that string so it doesn't slap all over my rock. And we're using Santorini rocks. We get our Santorini rocks from Santorini Stones by Shelly. She has, a, she now has an Etsy that you can get your Santorini rocks from. Oh, yeah. It's called Rocks by, or Stones by Shelly. Stones by Shelly. Yeah. Oh, I was looking. I don't think I have a new card. Do you? No. I don't think I saw a new card yet. But, but. I bet Lori has a link. Uh, yeah, Lori, you got a link for Shelly's group, it, right? Unless she's a... Uh, or her Etsy. Unless or the she's Etsy, in time I mean. out again. The Etsy, I mean. Oh. <laughs> Good night, Allison. Night, Allison. I'm going to pull out some extreme slivers. All the rocks are from Shelly, as a matter of fact. <laughs> The, yep. were those shadows, the other one? I get mixed I up between the, the what? Mine are all Santorini, but oh, mine are, are blemish they? because oh, I sorry. pay for blemish <laughs> ones, but. Yeah. No, this, this one is a, what's this? That's a shadow stone or, okay. or a sugar. It could be a sugar. I think it's shadow. It's dark. Ah, Mama Mia. Our sugar's dark. I almost Ooh. had an accident. She painted herself. I saw it. <laughs> almost had a stack accident. A stack accident? A 
snacksident. <laughs> oh, a snacksident. A blue glitter snacksident. <laughs> See? Hmm. I see. Ooh, that almost went on the carpet. Uh oh. Thank you, Lori, or whoever posted that link. Yep, Lori, thank you. Oh, yeah, I like the gold. And I'm just putting it on the bigger of the smaller. I'm putting it on the big and this the bigger of the smaller. The big in? Mm-hmm. She's putting the it on the little end. On the big little end. And they're pokey. I love it. Look at my pokey dots. <laughs> That's why you twirl them. Because they're pokey uppies. I love it. Uh-oh. I just lost my signal on my laptop. I can hear you and see you. Did it say? Oh, yeah. I, it was. It's just on my laptop. Mm. Not my phone. Yeah, mine's been frozen for a while again. I'm not on pause either this time. Yes, me too, Jan. Yep, I like the texture. Yeah, the I've had a of couple of daughters send Jeremy um some dot rocks that are really raised so that he can feel it and see what it feels like oh that's so cool yeah have you got have you ever done an urchin rock urchin yeah made the ur the sea urchin rock like no. i can't remember what the name of that daughter is but um like andrea dot andrea or the maybe it's the dotting center anyways they do really tall spiky dots on this round um made stone anyways it's like she does them in these lines down the rock and it looks like a sea urchin and it is amazing that's cool i think i could do that because it's pretty you know remember the sea urchin we did in the um in the book uh -oh. you're being uh am i being you're, censored you're being censored Because I'm talking about another daughter? Maybe, I don't know. This is ridiculous. Every time I talk about another channel, person, musician, sing, anything, they start depixelating me and blurring out my sound. Which she would probably like the shout out. <laughs> I know, right? Um, she's major Instagram. I didn't know. I'm sure that's not why they're doing it, right? Because that's not against any rule. I met her on YouTube. Mm. No, it'll tell you after why you were. Yeah, it will. They always, well, they don't tell me what it was. They just tell me that a piece of my content has been claimed there was a right a claims right put in against me so they have muted one second <laughs> well, they, they still have you muted or they still have you blurry i don't know why hmm. but jennifer said it was before you started talking about her oh okay oh there it is again you just got hit with it again i don't know I don't know. Maybe they don't like me talking about them. I feel like pushing it now to see what's going to happen. <laughs> I, mean, 
I, I saw some sort of message pop up, something about maybe a raised dot, but I don't know what that means. <laughs> From It went in my messenger. How funny. I think Jennifer, maybe they don't like raised dots. <laughs> or the urchin. They don't like urchin. Maybe they look too much like a nipple, but even that's not, <laughs> we're, that's not against the rules. <laughs> Oh, that's hilarious if they're doing it because I think it's nipples. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, How, do they not know us? <laughs> take, it out of, take it out of the picture for a minute and see if it goes clear. All right, it's out. The nipples are gone. <laughs> Mine's completely frozen, so I don't know. <laughs> Put something in the camera, like uh, your hand or something. Yep, it's clear now. Oh, my gosh. See, whatever the algorithm is, it doesn't like me. I don't know what I'm doing, though, that keeps triggering it. Yeah, and now it's zooming back in. It had zoomed way out, and now it zoomed back in. See, we don't have control of the zoom at all. See, that's not us zooming. We don't have a zoom on Facebook Live. So I guess taking the rock out of the screen cleared it. And then you came back, and it seems fine right now. Oh, good. Good night, night Carol. I have a stalker. I think I do, actually. I definitely have somebody reporting me for things that aren't even real. Somebody keeps reporting me for copyright. And I everything, I have not done anything. There's no, it's music copyright that I'm being reported for and there's no music anywhere. They say that I have have a copyright claim against me for music in my lives. And that's YouTube, too. It's not just... Yeah. Uh, and Instagram. Out of my so way. It's, it's somebody making the rounds. And they know that if they make a claim, Facebook has to react. And the, the reaction is they go ahead and give them the benefit of the doubt until proven otherwise. So, of course, I counterclaim, and in a few days, it's all taken care of. But in the meantime, they know that it messes up my everything. Like, I can't claim my monetization stops. You don't get any money for when you have a claim. So, it's they're messing with me big time. And I didn't know I had haters like that, but... I do. Somewhere. Somebody don't like me. That's okay. I can't hear anything. Are you there? Yeah. Okay. I was just doing my silver dots. Okay, I think I'm done with this one, except for my, you know, uh, rhinestones. They won't tell you unless um, it's proven that the claim is valid. Then they tell you who has the claim against you, where, and what it is. And then they tell you you can either delete it or you can give the other person the money that you earn, which will be automatically taken from you. They won't give you that option. <laughs> they say they do, but they don't. I did have music on one of my earlier YouTubes, like my second or third one, and they they monetized it instantly when I got off. The other, the it said the musician, but I know it's a company or people who do it for them, 
you know, they go out and they say, okay, we found your music on this video and we put a claim on it. So we'll give you the monetization for a fee. <laughs> you know what I mean? They earn their money doing that. Yeah. But I gotta tell you guys that I don't make any monetization on Facebook, even though I'm set up to do it. I don't make anything on it. And then um, on YouTube, it's literally just a few cents each live. E or not each live, it's each video. Like when a commercial comes on, if you stay and watch it, then I get a few pennies. But I don't even like watching them. So <laughs> like, I don't. I don't think anybody watches them, and I'm cool with that. Oh, I let them play sometimes when I have your videos on. Aw, thank you. I'll give you some pennies. Thank you. I'm totally stoked about the new tool over there, or the new super... What do they call it? The super chat and super thanks. Yeah. The, it's basically the tip. <laughs> Thank you yeah. for that. I like that. <laughs> I need to get some bells in here. So every time somebody gives me a little super thanks or a, a super chat, I can ring the bell. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> like Kramer on a anybody watch the stock market stuff Kramer the stock guy no -uh. okay so I have these pretty feathers I want to use oh I need my tool so bad and I don't know where I put it I found it okay I just sharpened it again. So these tips that come on the tool, they are replaceable, but if you don't have one or I'm sold out like now, you can sharpen these ends uh, with a nail file. You just rub it on the nail file and it makes a new tip on it. So I'm gonna put some of these feathers on these things here. Let me bring this down so you can see. Ooh, like my shirt, my Hawaiian shirt. <laughs> Okie dokie, and... What else? Right, I think I'm gonna put some of these. I'll be right back. Okay. Who is that? Hi, Misty. Hello, Anne. And who else is on there? Hi, Stephanie. See this right here? It looks like there's a gemstone there already like an amethyst I might
I think I want to put some green on my leaves here. I'm going to see if my shimmer shots will work on top of the tattoo because I haven't tried that. So. This is a shimmer shot. This is the green. Ooh, I think it's gonna work. It is, you guys. They work on tattoos. Oh, this is an amazing discovery. <laughs> so, used to be I used alcohol inks on the tattoos to color the black and white ones. Sorry, there's a bubble in there. <laughs> Anyways, um... But, I see now I can use my little shimmer shots, and they're so beautifully and glittery when they dry. Let me show you. You see all the shimmers in there? So, um... I was talking to Katie the other day about adding some things into the store, like little kits, like rock tattoo kits, like black and white tattoos with, um, I don't know, a little brush or something, just a rock, a tattoo, and some brushes, maybe a paint or two, but like a whole project. Yep, the shimmer shots are in the store today. I only put 10 in to start, but there were seven available when we started the live tonight. So I have tons more here I can make. They, um, or they're already, the color is already made. I just have to bottle them, shrink wrap them, and package them. But that doesn't take me very long. So if you guys want some and they sell out here in the next few minutes, I will definitely be adding more in the morning tomorrow quickly because they're just gorgeous and you saw one you know it was a bubble that came out but that's like one or two drops they literally are little vats of pigment but they're dye pigment and ink pigment kind of mixed together in a in a suspended it's kind of a gel base that I made with my binder and then um, there's glitter in there too and the glitter is oh, amazing. I'm gonna use the purple too. They do need to be shaken, but these are easy to shake. They're not like the gouache that take a lot of elbow grease. These are really simple to shake together. And if the ends get clogged up, all you gotta do is wipe it off with a wet paper towel. You know, it's just like a paint bottle, they get gunked up. And I'm working on the neon colors right now. So look at this purple though. This is, I know it probably should be yellow, but I've got to show you this purple. Look at how gorgeous that is. Okay. I had to fix one of my dots because I jacked it up. I'm spending more time fixing my work than dotting. Oh no. <laughs> All right, let's give the kitty a blue eye. I think your work looks beautiful. I can't see no boo boos. Probably because you already fixed them, right? <laughs> I need another blue, though. That's what I'm looking for. Um, 
um, tattoo rocks can go outside, right, Katie? Mine have before. I wouldn't see why not. Let me grab the yellow. Yellow shimmer shots. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to mix a little of these colors together and make a brown. Need a little red. Orange, I think. Okay. Well, I'm digging these quite a bit. I did make one neon yesterday to try. Let me see if it, let me see how it looks. Maybe I shouldn't put it on there. Where should I put it? Ah, shoot. shoot. I messed up my rock again. Darn Yo, it. This is why I suck at dotting. I can't quit from messing up my rocks. I keep sticking my hand in it. Is that because you're lefty? Probably. Darn it. It's all my left hand fault. So this is the magenta neon shimmer shots, but you can't even see how bright they are. It's so crazy. Wow. Let me turn off my light so you can see that. You guys see that neon? <laughs> like these shine brightly in the light. And that is the secret ink pen. See, you remember the pens I showed you earlier? Yeah. That's that ink from the pen. And then this one is the other, the liquid glow. The neons are not in the shop yet. I'm still working on that formula. But let me show you guys um, some cool things with the pen. I'm going to turn on the big black light. So, oops. You can see where I dropped some on the rock. Oh, no, that's the message I wrote earlier. What did I write? I don't even remember. Love you, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, you can do little cool things like... Kitty's eye, or put some details in your 
rock or put some stars cool thing about this pen is say you don't have a black light the pen has one so if you don't have a black light you can just use your pen lid you can take it off see and then then you could see where you're putting your dots black light uv light works too you know Isn't that pretty? Diana, we were talking about you earlier and uh, totally. the issue you're having with resin. So we're, we're definitely on it trying to figure out what to do to help you. We've just got to science it out. For sure. Because none of us, we all use resin, so none of us uh, are familiar with using um, varnishes and stuff. But we're thinking Duraclear is the issue. So we're thinking if we, if you start using, like someone said, the Liquitex Basics, varnish that they have really good luck with it yes Anne. so dura clear krylon triple thick rust-oleum makes are you saying stephanie are you saying all of these make a protectant clear spray paint She's having trouble with Rust-Oleum 2X. A varnish is the one. Or no, it's not. It's the, well, it is. It's the Duraclear. combo, right, of the spray and the Duraclear. Yeah. She's still yeah. having running. Running, yeah. But since we don't really use varnish, we haven't scienced it out. Right. So we've got to do that and we can, it's just going to take us a little while because first of all, we have to get the varnish because we don't have it. I had Duraclear, but I threw it away because I'm going to be honest with y'all. I don't like it. I, I dislike Duraclear period. Yeah, I'm just going to put my stones on with a little bit of the Liquitex medium because it's glue too. I'm just going to pop these on here. I really need to find my Bondic. I miss I'll it. Look, I'll look for it tomorrow. Thank you. Haha, <laughs> you know, my um, shimmer shots have binder in them, so I put these stones on top of it and they almost glued down. Binder is is a adhesive as well, so the shimmer shot, shots, though they won't hold tightly if you wanted to use it um, for a adhesive while you're working and then seal your stuff better, you know what I mean? It does work. I just... I just found out. <laughs> okay, that let's look at this one now. So we're done here. Look at the kitty's eyeball. Katie. Yeah. 
It's cool. So the green, the purple, the yellow, and the blue eyeball are the shimmer shots. I'm trying to get the... It doesn't do justice. The glitter in them is amazing, and you can't see it with the... That's my pillow. With the camera. But... Are you still working on yours? Yeah, but but I uh, we can quit if you want to, because like I said, um, I'm gonna have to work on these. Okay. Um, if you want to keep going, I'm good. I don't mind. I'm just wondering where you are at with everything. It's up to you. Whatever you want to do. I'm almost done with this fairy. I've just had to stop and fix a couple of things that I've messed up. Okay, we can keep going until you're ready to not go. I'm totally cool. I'm just gluing down some stuff. I actually tried some different things for dots, so I want them to dry and see how they come out on this particular rock. Like what? Um, right, mean... now, right now I'm using dragonfly glaze. Oh, cool. Because I wanted to see how they would do with dot, top dots. All right. While you're doing that, I'm all done with mine. I'm going to swatch some of the neons I've been working on. Good night, Stephanie. Good night. Oh, night, Stephanie. These have been fun, and I like the I like the effect that it gives. Oh, yeah, me too. So yeah, I used some um, Enchanted Shimmer to see how those do dot-wise. I used Dragonfly Glaze. I used some Extreme Glitter. I used... Um... Let's 
I use the holographic illusions and crystal ball. Wow. That was a little chunky and hard to make a round dot. But I was semi successful. And I used one more if I can find it. It's not a typical dot. Can you hear her? <laughs> this one. Uh huh. Ooh, the that's pretty. Purple prism extreme glitter it's a little different than regular uh extreme glitter the prisms but um anyways i use several different ones on here to see how they dry and how they come out so we will see i don't have all the colors but i grabbed these four mm, i have an orange here hang on <laughs> a drop <laughs> goes a long way. Fix that dot right there. Where's that other dot I messed up? There it is. Alrighty. I just gotta Gorgeous. wait for that one black dot to dry and then I can put a top dot on it and she'll be done. I love her. That's a fancy fairy. Yeah. And I so like I wanted it. I wanted lots of sparkles and stuff, so that's why I tried different things. Oh, I love it. I love the flower too. It's going to be gorgeous. Yeah, I didn't have time to do the the Luna pony or the um, flower. I'll have to top that those later and post them later. So there's the kitty cat and then here's the other one. And I think we're going to go ahead and oops, I almost tipped over my chair and uh, finish up here so here's the dragon with the glitter and those are almost dry wow that's so and beautiful kitty cat with the, both came out awesome those were the color shifts by folk art and treasure gold 3081e by folk art and the colors are mine, the shimmer shots. I love these. These came out great. Katie, I love yours. So we're going to have lots of dotty rocks here. <laughs> mine was all the glitter from all the world on mine. Yeah. <laughs> Glitter's like, the whole world is mine. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for hanging out with us. Happy Wednesday night. So we'll see you Friday. Have we picked something? No, we I haven't remember. picked anything. <laughs> no, we haven't because we don't do that, you know. <laughs> All I right. Just so run, we'll I run out of ideas, you know. I know. Yeah. Me too. All right, guys, give us some ideas. We're taking ideas. <laughs> um, let us know. You can PM or whatever. I'm working on some of the people that were asking for help in that post that I made today um, or whenever I made it, not today, someday. Um, I am working, I am going to work on some of the things. There's some things on there that's kind of hard to get on video, like spraying a rock, like showing you how to spray a rock. It's really hard to show you that because you're not actually going to see the spray really coming out on video 
Mm -hmm. I can show um, you why. where I start spraying it, like height wise, and then, you know, but that's really hard to do, like, especially on live. I could make a video about it, but um, it's kind of, uh, that part is kind of difficult, so I haven't worked that out yet, but there's still a lot of other things, and there's been people trying to pop in and help if they could or, or whatever, so um, I just ask that if you pop in and help somebody on my post that you post what your help is rather than taking it to a pm or something post it in the post so that everybody can see you know what that help is that's all all i ask but let me with that said we have it's kind of hard because we've told them they can't post anything <laughs> Well, no, they can't like, post links without talking to us, but if it's like helping them as far as, um, Oh, I'm sorry. Like, I guess I misunderstood what you were talking about. My bad. No, 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 no. They're because people are asking like things like, you know, how to flick, um, paint on with oh. a two, you know, how the best way to do it and That's stuff right. like that. So. Um, I did show how to do that on one of our live videos. I used a toothbrush. I can do that again if y'all want it. Um, but there are some things that we've filmed on video already that people were asking for is basically what I'm saying. So if they pop in and are trying to help that way. Right. Um, okay. So you're saying to take them to the, like, take it a little bit further, maybe find the in-house link or right if it's in-house link you can use your you can use the links for in-house so if you want to link mm -hmm. a video like if someone asks them and wanda's done a video for it you can go save the link from the guides and give them a post as long as it's in-house that's cool you can post links all day but if it's awesome. an outside link is what we just want to approve it first so just send it to us and if we think it's a good idea or whatever if we need to test it first we will gotcha. i will science it <laughs> you will science it yes thank you sorry i didn't mean to question you i just got confused i was like wait but but there's more <laughs> um guys i am making glitter pans with this so we'll be popping these into some orders here pretty soon as little freebies Yay. There's no waste. No waste. None at all. All right. Take care, everyone. Happy Wednesday. We'll see you on Friday, 7.30 p.m. Y'all have a great rest of the week. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. -bye. Bye.